My name is Pat Miller. I'm from Dixon, Iowa. This is a 1975 Kenworth K100. We've owned it about 13 years. Before we owned it, it was used regularly to haul grain. Cool thing about this truck, it was sold from our local Kenworth dealer in the Quad Cities. Uh, Ownership-wise, it has never left Scott County. As far as I know, I'm the fourth owner of it. We kind of call this our work in progress. Sat in the machine shed for years, bought it just kind of as a collector's item. And last couple years, we've been polishing it and making it a little prettier. Adding the fun lights and chrome and just making it pretty. Take it to many shows? Just here. Um, we're 10 miles north of here. Wow. So I'm down here all the time. This is. <laughs> convenient <laughs> and people ask you where you live you say you know where the world's largest truck stop is and they go yep straight north <laughs> are you a trucker we haul grain we're i'm a farmer so i technically do a lot of trucking what's your truck for the farm <laughs> i got a 2004 kenworth w900 all right we own well five semis technically all they're they're all kenworth except for uh, we have an international, and they all have Cummins in them. You say that reluctantly. It's a nice, it's, it's an okay truck. It's a good truck. So had you had your eyes on this for a while? Or? I knew the guys that owned this before me. I was always into, we are into tractors. We've restored tractors for 20 years. We actually have what we call a museum. 12,000 square feet of antique tractors. All done for 4-H and uh, FFA. And always seen this, and this is antique-ish. I always wanted to buy it, and one day, they're in one town over, and we saw a for sale sign on it, and I was like, oh yeah, here you go. <laughs> That's why it sat in the shed, we just didn't have really a use for it, and we just finally got tired of it sitting there and decided to do something about it. It's pretty cool paint. This is, I believe, its second paint job. I know it's its second engine. The original engine was a 350 small cam, and somebody forgot to put antifreeze or let it get low, blew it up, overheated it actually talked to the original salesman that knew this truck they put a 400 magnum cummins in it i don't know when it was painted um if you look at it you can see bits of the original dark blue shining through so it was painted i'm assuming in the 80s the way this paint looks so the lights and the panels on the back of the truck were put on this morning i've had this plan to do this in my head for like three years now and just could never find the right panels. Like nobody carries them. So we ended up finding a shop that could make them. They were supposed to be made last night. We were gonna pick them up this morning. My, my brother-in-law went to go get them and uh, they hadn't been made yet. And he was like, oh, I forgot. And made them this morning for us and drilled the holes and wired it all up this morning. <laughs> it turned out great though. We put the underglow on this. Uh, this is the first year for that and made a little flag holder though. And the, brackets are new this year and i ordered a deck plate for it and my goal is is to buy a 70s uh, wilson hopper bottom since we all grain and polish it to a mirror to put behind this so we have a actual show truck so you have like a true 70s setup 